Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I thought I would grab all of my Mambi sticker books. I have got a watercolour one, a digital detox bun, a productivity, which you guys have seen me use a lot before, and also a horizontal layout. It's been a while since I have done a plan with me that doesn't include any Etsy stickers or sticker kits, so I thought this week I would just do an eclectic spread. <laughs> Completely winging it and making it up as I go along. The three rolls of washi that I'm using, this nice sage green one, which says, enjoy the little things. I believe I picked up from Wilco's a while ago. It came in a multi-pack. And then the other thin washi rolls are from Mambi. So starting off with the washi, I put the larger or normal size washi in the middle. And then I'm going to be putting the two thinner Mambi ones either side of it, just to kind of frame it and make it look pretty. <laughs> And then we're going to move on and do my headers. So I'm not going to use any date covers, but I am going to be using these little today stickers. And I mixed a couple of them. Some were from the, I think one was from the horizontal layout and the other one was from the watercolour book. But they were kind of nice colours and they kind of went with each other. So I just decided to alternate them to make it look a little bit different. But I was definitely inspired by the watercolour book with which is this one here with the pinks, greens and purples. Really, really pretty. I kind of took that as an inspiration, although it didn't quite carry through, but you, you'll see as, as we go. So going in day by day, I had a food shop delivery first. So I used one of the poppets from the food sheet. And then I needed to buy some tickets for a show that we're going to on Friday. So I just put one of my little PC poppets down for that. And then I wanted my children to do homework as soon as they got in from school. So then I took the watercolour goals Mambi book and took this full box sticker and on here I'm just going to be writing down that I'm working on my peekaboo poppets. I've already started, I just want to come up with a few more designs. I've only got two peekaboo styles and I, I just want a few more so I'm going to be doing that on Monday and then my daughter has broken or smashed her screen on her iPhone. So I need to um, just double check how much is going to be to fix her screen. And then I want to edit this plan with me. So I just use one of my Poppet Planning Princess stickers. And then right at the bottom, I want to spend some time coloring. It's been a while since I've colored using actual pencils and not colored or drawn digitally. So I'm trying to get back into drawing and coloring in real life, <laughs> like on paper. And then here, for Tuesday, I took a sticker out of the horizontal layout book, which obviously their boxes are not the size of an Erin Condren because they're for a horizontal planner. So I just trimmed it down to fix my box, fix my box, fit my box. And then I'm just going to be writing out my little checklist of everything that I want to do on Tuesday. And then my filming lights cut out. I think it blew a fuse in the plug, which I'll get round to fixing in a minute. But definitely for the rest of Tuesday, it's without my studio lights above but I don't think it's too bad without the lighting I am filming in front of a big window as well so it's not too bad after writing my to-do list for Tuesday I took out the watercolor book from Mambi and just picked up one of these really pretty paints paint swatch stickers I'm struggling to talk today I'm really sorry I took the kind of cut off bit from the above where I just wrote my checklist and used that as a piece of washi behind the sticker. I did move this to the bottom because I felt like it was too crowded with the full box on Monday. So I've just put that down to the bottom. And then moving it back up, I do want to try and print and cut some orders on Tuesday. So I just used a happy poppet for that. And then after I've managed to print and cut everything, I want to pack orders. So again, another happy poppet. And then lastly, post them. So I use my happy mail poppet. <laughs> And then down at the bottom, I put down one of my poppet highlighters as I want my children to make sure they are caught up on all of their homework. And then moving on to the, I think this one is the digital detox book. I took one of these Doodles and Dreams stickers and just kind of chopped it in half. These are on clear sticker paper. So I put this on top of my paint swatch. And then in the middle, I've just put one of my happy poppets. Moving over to Wednesday, again from the watercolour book, I've taken another full box and on here I'm just going to be working on or writing down that I'm working on my flower kit, which hopefully will be releasing on Saturday. And I put a little happy poppet down because obviously 
working on stickers makes me happy. I wanted to remind myself that I was going to be having a home day, like don't even get dressed, don't brush your hair kind of day. Um, however, that's going to change because I do need to go out. But <laughs> I used a pencil sticker to mark down that I was going to be drawing and colouring for a little while and then here I'm putting down a happy poppet from the feeling sheet as I want to go spring decor shopping to get my house ready not necessarily for Easter but just inject a little bit of spring vibes everywhere and then right at the bottom I'm taking the horizontal layout sticker book again just choosing a quote to fill up the bottom because I didn't really have anything else to pop in there and I wanted to add a little bit of floral decorations to it as I was just talking about spring decor so I just took another sticker from the same book which has got some florals on there and I just swapped them over because I didn't like how it looked I still don't but anyway <laughs> moving on to Thursday so for Thursday I want to finish all of my designs on my flower kit and my peekaboo poppets so I've put that down with a poppet PC I want to answer some YouTube comments so I used a poppet from the social sheet with the YouTube symbol and then I'm going to be using a full box from the horizontal layout which fit my box this time so I didn't have to trim it and then above that I want to see if I can film another video so I put a little happy poppet down I want to have a afternoon where I'm just updating my bullet journal not only like the weekly pages but also in my at a year glance and filling in my subscriptions tracker and my bill tracker and things like that so I've just put down to update my bullet journal and then a little kettle from the doodle sheet as well as a pop it washing line because I need to catch, catch up on some laundry. For Friday I started with another full box from the watercolour sheet as my son's girlfriend has her dance show so I just put that at the top there so I don't forget and I used a sticker from the pop it couples sheet and then underneath that I want to think up some birthday ideas for my son as he is turning 16 so I it's a big birthday and I want to see what he wants to do and come up with some ideas. I've got housework to do as always because that never ends <laughs> and um, I also have got some Etsy paperwork to do like shop paperwork so I've put one of my desk doodles down. And then here I'm just flicking through the horizontal Mambi book as I wanted to pick up one of these remember stickers. I need to pick up my son and then at the bottom there I've put down one of my poppet TVs as I'm going to be having a good old Netflix binge and then going back into the watercolour book I wanted to use this full box as it matched the one that I used on Monday so I put that down in the middle because again I didn't want it next to the full box on Friday and I've just put down for my new release which will hopefully fingers crossed be the flower kit if I can get around to finishing it and then up the top there I just wanted to create a little to-do section the to-do sticker is also from the watercolour book and obviously I've got housework I've also got some happy mail due it's been a while since I ordered anything so very excited <laughs> at the bottom here I put down one of the sleepy time poppets because I want to do a face mask and have an early night because I really need to catch up on my sleep for Sunday I went into the digital detox book as I wanted to grab one of these disconnect stickers I also took one of the poppet mobile phones and just reminded myself or told myself to turn my phone off even if it's just for an hour I've noticed that my phone is constantly on it never is turned off so I want to just disconnect for a little bit turn my phone off I use some of the medication stickers to mark down that I need to reorder prescription medicine and then I took one of the Poppet Cat stickers switched it out because this one actually had the web medicine on there and his flea medicine is due and then I didn't like how these two are next to each other so I will move them but before I done that I did put down my Poppet checklist which is getting everything ready for school so here I'm just swapping them over because I just didn't like the way it looked I also grabbed another paint swatch sticker from the watercolour book although I covered it up with the cat sticker but anyway moving on to the sidebar I took another full box sticker from the watercolour sheet and on top of that I'm going to be putting another quote sticker which was from the horizontal layout yes from the horizontal layout and then I took another one of the headers this one says check it off because I'm going to be putting down a habit tracker and the habit tracker I got out of the productivity book 
the productivity book I've been using the most out of everything. It's just got a, a mix of all stickers. So if you're looking for a Mambi book to maybe start with, then I would suggest that one. So last week's new release was the Things I'm Waiting For full boxes. I've been purchasing a lot of stuff from Facebook selling groups and I forget sometimes. So here I can just write down the things that I'm waiting for. Also any Etsy orders. I know I can go into my purchase history, but it's just fun having it in your sidebar. And uh, that was it for this week's spread. Hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up and I will speak to you all next time. To become a part of our public family, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified of all my uploads, then just hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.